What's up, guys? Um, in today's video, in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this this classy move. Please help us grow this channel. It's a new channel. Please like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Please help us subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping footwear, different aspects of footwear, and everything that encompasses leather work. And let's just grow together. Thank you. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna be making move. And these are the materials that you'll be needing. Your sew, your, your rubber sew, your template, that is the pattern. Gone, utility knife, your glass for the filing, your Gucci chain, or the designer's chain rather. Last thing, a pair of scissors, gun brush. Your last mallet, of course. Then this way, the material to be used. Then we're going to be using a soft lining. Make make sure you get the very soft lining that is somehow elastic to make it easier to last. First of all, you join the pattern. Outline your outline your pattern on your material. Put it out. Make sure you have taken measurement of the of your pattern if it's okay depending on the size that you're working it we're just doing a 42 size measurement here in dry size all right guys we're done the pattern accurate with our initial template very accurate then yeah this is the tricky part we're going to be fixing this this design chain here first of all yeah just like this so there are different ways of doing this different ways but i'm going to be showing you one unique way cut out a piece of soft leather very very narrow piece Cut it into four parts. Then apply your gun. One secret of shoemaking or any craft. Learn to go yourself to be very perfect. Avoid errors. Make sure your jobs are always neat. To make you stand out well and, and improve your customer patronage. After applying the gun, I'll like to drive for some, for some seconds. Then do something like this. That's it. We're good to go. Then you measure exactly where you want it to be. All right. Make sure the hole is not very wide. Then you're gonna apply some pressure here. And bring it outside. Just like that. Done. 
Then there's a tricky part. This one is very important. Take your knife and scave it down a bit. Make sure your leather is not very thick. So this part is very important to aid in the relaxing process. Scave it down a bit. Scave it down. Do the same thing over here. Then you get a gun. Apply your gum here. Make sure you are playing gum. I'm avoid staining the, the front part of it because I already beauty lies. When you are done, this one's gonna look like. to dry for some moments Look like see why we're skiving that part, but that's underneath. So now, right now, I'm going to be sewing it with the sewing machine. No stitch boots here. We heard about the filing machine and uh, or the bench sander. I don't know what you call it. Because you can call it filing machine, bench sander, whatever. So we're just gonna make this part look neat. Just you know, fairly that bit. So let's head over to the machine. All right, guys. I've, I've done finding the edge on this part of it. So here's a little secret: you apply that to this part to make it look more, you know, complete. To give that subtle look. So you get your die. And let's not forget, I also did fair this part of the sew to make it more. Glueable that means to have to make the gum easier to, to stick and to fight both sides. Now let's apply it there. Yes. Now for the lasting part, we'll apply gum around this part and this part on round about this part that we had to rough 
you know to make it easier to stick that's how that's why we had to fire this part of it and we'll apply gum to this part now so just watch it go now you're applying gum back out to the sole just to part our last scene you remember it is a mold it's half that's how we're doing it this way now guys for so the last thing to make to avoid this random movement of your last we're going to be sticking in the under underneath it there you go nice okay stuck now for the last thing First of all, use your hand back there. Make sure it's accurate. Now, this is a tip. Make sure you you do this part of it first. And be tweaking your last, your plier. I just want to smooth in this rough edge. Go back to what you've done. Apply a lot of pressure here. A lot of it. Here's a little secret to get the same exact part, you mark it like this, it will last an equal. Do it on both sides so you get your outline on, on where to. Yes. You are done. So we're going to remove the knees and cut this part down a bit before you head over to the machine to do the final work. We're almost done. Yes, we're done now. We'll be heading over to just go finish part for apply for. Now we're gonna be Finishing off the edge, the those part the machine couldn't roughen, and I'm using a, a sandstone to just do it all over the edge. You can use a sandpaper, a sandstone, a sharp knife. Alright, we are done both roughing both um so so we're applying the gum now. We'll be using this type of gum, but not using this one. Although this one is good, but to be on the safer side, we're going to be using this chemical gum. It's called chemical gum in this part of the country. I don't know what you call it over there. So, so this particular type of gum, you use you you mix two types, two two different types. This one is called chemical stiff. It's the same as this.
one drop is okay. I'm just going to apply it round about carefully. You'll be careful around this part to make it stick together properly. Or try to apply it to that tip. <sighs> Do it to both sides. And here's the secret. After applying the first gun, wait for some while, like five minutes. Allow the gum to dry up first. Then you apply another layer of gum. Alright guys, we're almost done. We're in the final stage of the mold. We're almost done. We have applied gum to the to both the the um the front part and the sew. So there are two ways of doing this, or three ways rather. You can use a heat gun. Just plug it to the connect it to an electric output, heat it very well. Or if the sun is very hot, you can just leave it there for some minutes. Or you can use a gas cooker. So for this tutorial, for the purpose of making you guys understand it, I'll be using gas cooker. While applying the gum, you notice some the edge is a bit damped and rough. So you just use anything to take off those gum, those residue of gum. You just make sure the goal is to get get something that is hundred percent neat. There are some people that will just do it like that, but you have to be different. You can use a speed lever if you have one. Also, where well, the anything that is emitting heat, anything that is emitting heat, put part of it. Don't leave it like this. Just give it some space. Take note, guys. Take note, guys. After adding them together, you press gently. Don't hammer it. You just press firmly around it. Oh. Alright, the final part. We're just going to be using glue to seal up those open holes around. Then you, if you observe, you see some holes around. You just press firmly, and it's done. Do the same thing on.